Today on Mr. Media, I'll talk to Jamie Batman, author of the new book, The Frisky 30-Day Breakup Guide. Stick around. Hey, did you know that you can listen to the latest Mr. Media show right on your phone with the Stitcher app? Stitcher is smart radio for your smartphone. Mr. Media is on demand and on the go with Stitcher. Download Stitcher for your phone today. Get the free app at www.stitcher.com. That's S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R.com. So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is a Mr. Media interview. You know, MrMedia.com, MRMedia.com. Stop by and check it out. There are more than 600 archived celebrity interviews for your listening pleasure. The show is brought to you today by ThePartyAuthority.us. Planning a wedding, mitzvah, or corporate event? For any and all occasions, call the Party Authority nationwide at 1-800-DIAL-DJs. That's 1-800-342-5357, where one call does it all. Mr. Media is recorded live before a studio audience of every woman I ever dated who never thought I'd make it on online radio, in the new new media capital of the world, and home of the second best team in baseball, St. Petersburg, Florida. Now, it's pretty easy for me to remember my worst breakup story because there is only one. It was when I was in college and the girl I'd been seeing went into the Army. That's a long story. Anyway, we tried to stay close for the first year, writing letters, uh, the kind you use a pen and paper for, kids, uh, talking on the phone, visiting when possible. Then she was transferred from a base in the South to one in North Carolina. Pardon me, North California. On my end, I was trying to transfer schools and work out there to be close to her, but it was one hassle after the other. Frustration, nonstop frustration. One day, I called her, and a young man answered. I asked for her, and he said, who's this? Who am I, I thought. Who are you? Turns out I said that uh, out loud. I'm her husband, he said. Now, who are you? Oh, I, I'm her uh, cousin, I said. I didn't know she was married. Uh, when did that happen? Last week, he said. Turns out she's pregnant. Now, I won't bore you or depress me with the rest of the details. Just know that I was crushed, and it took a long time to come out of that particular dark funk. The whole incident came back to me as I was looking through Jamie Beckman's new book, The Frisky 30-Day Breakup Guide. In it, Beckman takes uh, women through her own day-to-day recovery method for dealing with a torturous breakup. Now, has anyone ever done a book like that for men? Doubtful. Because instead of a spa treatment one day or Godiva chocolates the next, the guy equivalent would be the same thing every day. It would be 10 letters, start with an M, end with an E, Okay, Jamie Beckman, welcome to Mr. Media. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. (laughs) How are you today? I'm great. How are you doing today? I'm doing much better than I was when I was a young man of 20 in 1980. (laughs) I know. That is cold. I can't believe that happened to you. I I feel bad for you, even years later. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you very much. It was definitely a place for sympathy, and obviously it worked. (laughs) Uh, And, uh, Jamie, do you want to... Uh, Do you want to fill in the missing consonants and vowels for listeners who may be counting the letters on their fingers trying to figure out what I was talking about? I I don't know. Is that that allowed on on this family show, or is uh, is this rated R, and I can can talk about that? You can use any language you like. (laughs) Well, that that would be day 25 of my book, which is, um, let's just say it's a little bit of self-love for women who are going through a breakup. Um, people, I mean, this is like the, the controversial chapter of my book. It's like, well, you know, why would you tell women to masturbate? Which that's the, that's the word. Um, and I said, <laughs> and, you know, and I always say, you know, a lot of women put their pleasure in the hands of a man, you know, their boyfriend or their husband, and you really need to take some time out, you know, even, you know, do something dirty to kind of take your mind off that terrible breakup. It'll, it'll at least work, you know, for five minutes, ten minutes, depending <laughs> on what kind of woman you are. <laughs> So it's it's important. I mean, the book is all about putting the focus on you, and I think that that's uh, either really you can't put the focus on you any any more than you can than you do when you're uh, kind of giving yourself a little loving. 
Now, I mean, I got to ask you, I mean, that activity is only one day of the 30 (laughs) in your breakup guide. I I mean, some women no doubt think that that's not enough and others are probably quite shocked that you bring it up at all. Absolutely. I mean, the, the, it's really the reaction has run the gamut. I mean, I've seen women look through the book and said, day 25, that's day one, which is my favorite reaction. <laughs> um, and then I think that some people are, are just a little shocked. I mean, including I had to explain to my parents that uh, there is a day in the book that they might not, <laughs> they might want to gloss over and maybe not show that p- page to grandma. But um, I think it's really important. And I was kind of willing to take that risk because uh, women need to, you know, they really need to feel like they can, um, they're responsible for their own unhappiness in more, more ways than one. You're a bold woman, Jamie. Bur- Thank Jamie you. Bold, bold woman. <laughs> so uh, let me ask you this. How did you ever get in the position, and, and we're setting masturbation aside, how did you get in the position of writing an entire book like this? I mean, a, a gallon of mint chocolate chip ice cream wasn't enough for you to get over some dude? Or, it's, it's I guess tough. I'm assuming. I mean, it's it's tough whether you've been in a relationship that, you know, has lasted five years, ten years, or if you've, you know, just been dating something for a couple months. It's really all-consuming. I mean, I went through a really rough breakup in my uh, mid-20s, and... You know, it's it's something that couldn't be cured just with, you know, just with a girl's night or just with, um, you know, having somebody tell you to snap out of it. it. I really felt like I wanted to reach out and have some sort of a safety net, some sort of a laugh, r- life raft to uh, grab onto because when you're in that position, you just feel terrible. You feel like things are never going to be okay. And I think whether you're a man or a woman, I, I think that that's a very common feeling. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to write this book and I wanted to kind of give – people, you know, I, I think men can use it too, you know, so some some parts of it. Um, I wanted to give, you know, women something to, you know, something to reach out to, something to grab onto and somebody that can say, hey, this is going to be okay. You know, it's 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 not going to happen overnight, but, you know, eventually here's like a little bit of a guide, a starter kit um, to helping you feel better. When we're not in the midst of a terrible breakup, do we, do we think that they're all that terrible? I mean, it's like, oh, come on, you'll live. But, I mean, when it's us – in the middle of that situation, it's very different, right? Yeah, and I and I think that uh, we tend to, especially if we're in a happy relationship, like those are always the people who are the worst. They just say, oh, we'll just get back out there, start dating again. You're single. It's so <laughs> fabulous. And it's like, okay, well, that's really easy for you to say. You've been married for five years or, you know, you're in a great relationship. And I think that um, we do forget how painful it can be um, because it, it is called all-consuming. It takes over your life. And I think that um, – this is a, an experience that's kind of like a loss. It's a little bit like, um, you know, having a death in the family because you actually, I mean, you're losing that person. And I think that even though my book is very lighthearted, I think that um, it, you know, it should be taken seriously in the way that this, these are very real feelings. I mean, this just isn't um, puppy love that's, you know, over in a day like, like you're in kindergarten. I mean, this is, um, these relation, adult relationships can be very complicated. You know, I think describing it like a death in the family really I think that really nails it because I think in retrospect, that's probably how I felt the one time I went through yeah. it. It was kind of like somebody had died, and and uh, I'm generally very upbeat and very uh, engaging, I think fairly social person. And mm-hmm. uh, family and friends, boy, they just couldn't figure out, boy, he must have really, you know, he must have really liked her. Yeah, no crap. Right. Um, <laughs> so, well, tell us, let's talk about some of the days. I mean, it's 30 sure. days. Uh, what are some of your favorites of the 30 days? I mean, if you you know, if you have to like a day when you're trying to get over a breakup, well, what are some of the, the better ones? Well, I'm really partial to day number one, which is uh, you're supposed to change your cell phone wallpaper. You're supposed to change that picture that you look at all the time. Um, just because out of sight, out of mind really applies in this situation, it really – you know, if you're taking him away from something that you're doing every day, like talking on the, talking on the phone, looking at that picture all the time, um, then you're not going to think about him as much. And I think that it really applies to the digital world as well. Um, in addition to changing your cell phone wallpaper, you're going to want to change your computer background. I mean, maybe you had his picture on there, maybe you didn't, but you know, maybe that you need to just look at something else. Same thing with Facebook. Um, you can't be Facebook friends with him. You have to rip the Band-Aid off. You've got to just defriend him or her. Um, 
you have to also defriend your mutual friends. Uh, and you can warn them ahead of time. You can say, hey, listen, I'm going to take you off of Facebook for a while. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to defriend you. And once I get over this, I'm going to friend you right back. Because if you're seeing those pictures of him um, at a party that somebody else threw that you didn't go to, you're going to be, you know, going through all of those digital photos. You're going to be um, looking for who he may or may not be with now. I mean, it's just not healthy for you. And so I think that that's a concrete action that you can take. Um, that is going to just change your mindset a little bit. And I think that that's, um, that's one of the big themes of the book is just kind of focusing on yourself, changing your mindset, and moving on. So that's, I, I got to probably... point out, mm-hmm. well, I was going to say, pardon me, but I, I have to point out that the way you say defriend, it sounds to me like de Laos. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Well, in order to de Laos yourself, <laughs> you know. That guy was a louse. I, it's true. I mean, I, I honestly do think so. And it, it's 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 really important in this day and age because we are overburdened with information. I mean, we – I mean, everywhere you – I mean, I know when I have some downtime, I'm checking Twitter, I'm checking Facebook, I'm seeing what everybody's up to, um, and you're connected to people in a way that you, uh, you know, you weren't before. And I think that, yeah, it's all about kind of trying to remove this person from your life, you know, as cold as that sounds. But, hey, you know, they broke, they broke your heart, you know, you, it, this is over. Um, and it's important to just kind of say, okay, you're not a part of my life anymore. Delousing yourself, absolutely. <laughs> uh, how about piss off? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Uh, is 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 there a day in here where you where you you tell women to, you know, uh, send a send a letter, send a note to the person telling them what you actually think of them, call them and jackass it? You know, I think that you can do that, but don't send it to him. You know, you can write a letter to him, no! but don't <laughs> don't send it. <laughs> don't send it to him. I and really, what I what I want to do with this book is just take the focus off of this guy or or the girl. You know, just take. Mm-hmm. Stop wasting your energy on this person and, and you know, really turn it in toward yourself and, and, and say, okay, well, now I have the chance to take this class I've always wanted to, or now I have the chance to spend some time with my friends. You know, now this, this person is gone. I'm not going to waste my energy, you know, getting angry at him. I'm not going to, you know, send him crazy emails or crazy text messages. You know, I'm, I'm just going to turn this in, into something positive. And I think that uh, if you can take that energy and, and, and channel it into, to something, you know, be it your work or, you know, your hobbies or, you know, even just kind of getting to know yourself again, then that's, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, hmm. be, being, you know, going, going insane and, and trying to tell him everything that he did wrong, wrong to you, it's, it's not going to hurt anybody but yourself. Well, that would take as long as you had the relationship anyway, right? Because he, he's a miserable guy and he was doing things wrong from day one when you, when you reflect back on it. Yeah, I mean, it, and that definitely could that you know, if that's the way you have to look at it, then that's okay. You know, if that's how you want to look at it. Then fine. And uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you might see those warning signs that, that have been there for for you know the whole time, but you know, it's uh, it's it's time to move on. You know, the future future's not going to wait. So that's that's the point of the book. What uh, what are some some events or some activities over the thirty days that you have that would bear repeating? I mean, that you know, you could have easily, if you had forty days, you might have put them in a second time. The, you know, that, that's well, definitely um, day twenty five, which we talked about at the beginning of the show. I would say that bears repeating. Um, I now, if that's that, only five minutes a day, couldn't couldn't that be at the end of each page? Sure, absolutely. You can you can take this, but you can you can take the days and and you know and work them around and you know do d- repeat them. Absolutely, I think that I think that that's fine. I think that um, w- one big theme is reconnecting with your friends, and I think that um, you know one day I say one day I say go out you know for cocktails with your girlfriend. Um, another day um, I say write write a letter to your best friend because they are the people who are really going to carry you through this, and I think that. Um, um, throughout the breakup, you're going to need to lean on your friends, but you're also going to need to appreciate them. You know, you I, you, you try not to overburden them with, you know, your, your stories and everything like that, but that's why your friend, you know, they're your friends. They're there to lean on, and you have to appreciate them and, and really um, understand that they're your support system. You know, they're, they're your family. Um, and I think that that's really important, and that's something that um, everybody kind of needs to, needs to realize. And, and sometimes when you're in a relationship, you kind of neglect those relationships. You, you, um, with your friends, I mean, you kind of tend to spend time with your significant other rather than your friends. So this is, a, again, this is a time to reconnect, reconnect with what's important. Is it a lesson, too, that maybe you shouldn't uh, 
write off your friends so quickly just for a relationship that you should yes. find a little greater balance the next time around? Yes, and I think that that's hard for everybody to, to, to do um, because if you find a great relationship and you find this you know, wonderful person, it's like, oh, well, of course, you're going to want to spend a lot of your time with them. But if, if over the long haul, um, you can't just throw everything, you can't just throw all of, your, all of your feelings and all of your time into one person. You can't put all of your eggs into one basket because that's just not going to make for a balanced life. And also, when the relationship ends, well, what have you got? You know, it's really important to keep those things, keep those friends all the way through. Um, no matter, you know, if you're with the most amazing person you've ever met, it's, it's, it's important to have that balance in your life, you know, work, friends, hobbies, you've got to keep all of that. And that's, um, the book is kind of a return to that, um, helping you rediscover those things about yourself. Mm. Well, you just mind your P's and Q's, Buster, and remember who you're dealing with. Bueller. Ferris Bueller. I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> That's kind of amazing, though. <laughs> <laughs> I thought well, this was a uh, stick that I wasn't even like aware of. It's kind of, it's kind of great. I think you should do that for all your shows. <laughs> Just a I random, random hit a random button, you know, like a chicken sound uh, or something like that. <laughs> I've been I've been saving that moment with Alan Ruck from Ferris Bueller for just the right moment. It just seemed like it. Um, let's let <laughs> let's take a let's just take a quick break here. Uh, this is Bob Andelman, and you're listening to the Mr. Media Radio interview with relationship expert Jamie Beckman, who's the author of the new book, The Frisky 30 Day Breakup Guide. And we will literally be right back. Ever thought of hosting your own radio show? Now you can by registering at BlogTalkRadio.com. While you're there, check out our selection of premium packages. To start your own show today, visit blogtalkradio.com. Hey, did you know that you can listen to the latest Mr. Media show right on your phone with the Stitcher app? Stitcher's smart radio for your smartphone. Mr. Media is on demand and on the go with Stitcher. Download Stitcher for your phone today. Get the free app at www.stitcher.com. That's S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R.com. Well, this is Bob Andelman, and you're listening to the Mr. Media Radio interview with relationship expert Jamie Beckman, author of the new book, The Frisky 30-Day Breakup Guide. And before I bring Jamie back in here, I want to remind you, you can subscribe to this show on iTunes and never miss one. Go to iTunes, search Mr. Media. You actually get two or three choices. And subscribe, give us a rating, give us a review. You'll enjoy it. You'll make me happy. What more do you need to have a great day, especially in the middle of a breakup, ladies? Um, Absolutely. <laughs> Jamie, I mean, I'm figuring – thank you. <laughs> I'm figuring someone who has uh, written an entire book on bouncing back from a breakup probably has had more than one relationship go wrong, and I'm wondering if you would – care to maybe tell us about a few of the losers that you dated over the years. <laughs> yeah, because they're all losers. You know, they, they were silly enough <laughs> to dump me. Um, well, I think that the big breakup that really inspired this book was um, a breakup that I had um, with a guy that I had been with for three and a half years. Um, he, he was my first New York City boyfriend. I live in New York City. And, uh, you know, our lives were very intertwined. I mean, he had, you know, sh shown me a lot of the city, that, you know, what a lot of the city had to offer. I mean, I was, you know, in, you know, very, in my early, early mid-20s, you know, bright-eyed and impressionable and all that stuff. And so when we broke up, uh, it was really hard to, understand how to be single again. Um, you know, here I was uh, in New York City, um, no boyfriend. Um, I didn't pay as much attention to my friends as I should have, ha should have during the relationship. So I, you know, a lot of those friendships had disintegrated a little bit. I had to build those back up. And uh, it was it was tough. I mean, I think that any time that we spend a period of, of of our of our lives with somebody, it's really going to be a little bit tough to bounce back. Um, but, you know, after doing a lot of these things that I that I write about in the book, which is what inspired it, I mean, something as simple as um, after we broke up, I went to I loved going to movies um, by myself, and I hadn't done that in a long time because he wasn't really a big movie fan. So afterward, I went to the Simpsons movie back when that was in the theater and <laughs> by myself, and I sat among all of those fabulous Simpson loving geeks and, you know, laughed out loud and had a great time. And those little things um, really helped me through that breakup, even though it was, you know, three and a half years. And yeah, you know, I made some mistakes, you know, I had, you know, 
drank a few many drinks some nights. Uh, you know, uh, I didn't I didn't call or text him, but uh, you know, definitely made some of, some of those kind of mistakes, those those uh, self destructive kind of tendencies. But it was the small things um, that really helped. Uh, going to that movie, I remember. Um, you know, there's one song that I actually listened to on my iPod that uh, really helped me. Um, the song Big Country by Big Country, an awesome, awesome 80s song. Um, it just has this really positive message, you know, that you can pick yourself up and, and get yourself going again. So those little things really um, took me through that breakup. And, um, you know, it's still hard. You know, I still I, st- I still remember the breakup. I still remember how bad it felt. And, you know, I still, I think that we think of our exes sometimes, um, definitely in the context of, wow, I spent a lot of time with that person. But, I mean, it's it turned out for the better. You know, I'm, I met some somebody completely different than my ex, and, and uh, I am grateful every day that that ex and I broke up so I can meet my current boyfriend. So it's very exciting mm. in that way. So, and of course, you know, uh, being a puritanical society as we are, you once you broke up, it, you, you would never have uh, – texted him for like breakup sex because of course you weren't doing that anyway so you of course know, you, not you avoided that thing. yeah of course you know sex and an ex is actually something that a, a lot of people do and I, I and i think that um it, you know i was i was good enough to avoid that and also you know i'm i'm, I'm a very pure person so <laughs> of course i wouldn't put myself in any situation like that um uh, just but what i what i think that is it, it, if you're if you're booty calling your ex, if you're trying to have sex with him again, it's just going to prolong this breakup. I mean, it's just going to, it, you know, it's going to draw it out. And I think that uh, having sex with your ex, while it seems like this is a person that you can trust, this is a person that you've done this with before, it's just not, it's going to make the breakup very, very messy. And just there are going to be no clean lines between, you know, this is when I was with him and this is when I'm not with him. Um, it's just going to tug your heart in a million different directions, even if you're, if you're a guy or a girl. And so I would, I would caution everyone, and it's hard sometimes, I know, but to try and stay away from that if you can. Um, just just for the, the simple, simple fact that it's hard to move on if you're still, if you're still having sex with someone. Let's just put it, let's just put it that way. Particularly because you know you're going to want to tell your friends, and you know your friends are going to incredibly disapprove. Oh yeah, and I mean, there's nothing worse than saying, "Oh, what was me?" You know, I had this breakup, and it's like, "Oh, by the way, I went over to his place last night." It's like, "Oh, come on, really?" Uh, you, you know, <laughs> we ju- we we just we just spent all this time counseling you. You know, <laughs> why are you doing this? And you know, you're kind of dragging not only yourself but your friends through the whole thing again. And I mean, that's no fun for anybody. So, you know, find find somebody new. Find a find find a find a hot new a hot new guy, hot new girl to um you know go on dates with and you know, share chaste kisses over ice cream cones. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Pro- protect my image of all this. Thank you. Yes, of course. My, my, head, my, my, my delicate head would burst if I, if I thought that all these unmarried people were out there. I know. Um, terrible. <laughs> yes. So, there, so you're all, as far as I know, everyone out there is chaste. Yes. Uh, yes. And uh, as the father of a of a daughter, I, I have to keep believing that's the case. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so where does the uh, where does the breakup expert go for relationship advice? Who do you turn to? Who do you trust? Oh gosh. Well, I, you know, fr- frankly, I re- I really like this woman who has um, who runs a blog called Getting Past Your Past. Um, I believe her name is Susan. She um, is a great counselor and a great. Um, a very positive force checks in with her with her readers and all that stuff. So I really I really like her advice, um, and and I would have to say that she um, and she. She, she, she's just a great person, so I, I would definitely say, you know, visit, visit her site as well. And also, I mean, for me, breakup advice, I think the best advice comes from your friends and family who know you. Um, and I think that sometimes we don't want to hear what they have to say sometimes, um, perhaps because they know you too well or they know the guy too well. Um, but I think that it's important to kind of put your pride aside uh, during a breakup and, you um, I think that you just need to kind of roll with what they say for a while because you're not in you're not going to be in your right mind. I mean, you're not going to be in your right head after a breakup. You're hurt. You want to lash out. You want to you know internalize a lot of this stuff. But kind of let people take care of you and let them tell you what they think. You know, to an extent. I mean, of course, like I mean, there are always extremes. You don't want them to berate you or anything like that. But um, really listen because I think that they have a lot of valuable advice to give. And so um, for me, for my my 
you know, my guy troubles, uh, if, you know, luckily I don't have many anymore, but I always turn to my friends, my college buddies who have known me forever. Um, they're a really good source of that. You know, my sisters, um, it's really important to just keep it real, and uh, especially when you're having a hard time. In, uh, on, well, on day, day 20, you say have a no chick, have a no chick flick night. Yes. Which that sounds like a great idea, except I was looking at the list here. You've got, you actually have a film director, Penelope Spheris, who mm-hmm. did uh, Wayne's World. And, um, she shared three, three movies that she recommends, mm-hmm. uh, with brave heroines, uh, yeah. that inspired her. And okay, I, I completely get Alien, Officer Ripley. Boy, that's, you want to, Lose Yourself in, in, in a movie, there's a great one. Oh, totally. Femme Nikita, I get that completely. But then I think, I think, it, I think the whole thing is blown here on number three. Mask? <laughs> Mask is like the ultimate chick flick? Oh, come on. Come there on. are it's, different. I'm going to defend uh, Penelope here. There, there are different kinds of female strength, and I think that I actually really liked that she added that to the list because, okay, yes, I mean, you know, their, their emotions are running high during that film. But, I mean, again, like it's, it's, it's about being strong for yourself and being strong for others and, uh, you know, not just in the end you know, marrying somebody or, you know, finding the guy of your dreams. And I think that that's kind of what she was saying. And I, and I, I have to agree with that. I really, I really have to agree with that. I'm, I'm going to defend her on that one. <laughs> oh, but come on. Now, on the very next page of the book is this kick-ass, literally kick-ass picture of this woman. It looks like she's been dropped in the middle of Fort Bronx. Yeah. She's like, you know, <laughs> she's in this, uh, you know, martial arts pose. Like she's just a just uh, about to unload on some guy. Yeah. And, and and that comes right after reading, well, you should see Nass. <laughs> oh, that chair. She's so, oh, come on. Come on. I got I to gotta disagree here. I think that... I think there's some credibility blown there for either you or Penelope. That's all yeah. I'm saying. All right. Well, I agree to disagree. I, I'll, I'll let I'll let I'll let the female listeners, you know, decide decide what what they think about that. But but yeah, I uh, I got I got to back Penelope up. <laughs> all right. All right. You got to do what you got to do. I understand. Yes. Uh, so from this point, will there be another book? I mean, is this is this going to launch you on a on a series of these things, or are you are you out of this business now? Oh, I you know I'm always writing about relationships. Um, for uh, the frisky.com, which is which is uh, the women's website that this originated on, um, one of the the top uh, female websites for um, uh, you know celebrities and relationships and all that stuff, all that fun stuff. Um, so I'm always I'm definitely always writing. I would love to write another book, and I really hope that um, that something is in the works. I have a ton of ideas. So uh, we're check back, check back with me definitely, <laughs> and and, uh, okay. and and I'll tell you what's next. Seems fair. Well, uh, folks, listen, you can find uh, relationship expert Jamie Bre- Beckman. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Breckman. Beckman's <laughs> new book, uh, The Frisky 30-Day Breakup Guide. It's in great bookstores everywhere, or you can order it right now on mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. Now, uh, people are interested, can they find you on Facebook? Can they find you Twitter, MySpace, any of those places? Absolutely. I'm, I'm on Facebook. Absolutely friend me, Jamie Beckman. And then um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, that would be awesome. I'm at Jamie Beckman. And okay, great. And they can also find you at thefrisky.com. Thefrisky.com, absolutely. Awesome. Well, uh, Jamie Beckman, thank you so much for joining us on Mr. Media today. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Take care. Thanks. You too. All right. And folks, for more original interviews with uh, America's top relationship experts or America's top cheaters, I'm sure we've had a few of them on the show, (laughs) surf over to our main website, mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. And you can now hear Mr. Media while you're on the go with Stitcher Radio. Stitcher is a free news and talk mobile application. The latest episode of Mr. Media is always available for you, no syncing needed, and no memory wasted. It's available for your iPhone, your Palm Pre, Android phones, or your BlackBerry. And downloading is easy. Just go to Stitcher.com or check out the App Store for your individual mobile phone. While you're there, check out some of my favorite online radio shows, which include The Michael Mara Show, Inside Radio, Doug Loves Movies, and Sex with Emily. And please take advantage of this great offer for Mr. Media Radio listeners. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash mrmedia to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, that's audiblepodcast.com slash mrmedia, Mr. Media, for your free audiobook. Subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. You can also listen with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations. 
If you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly at bob at mrmedia.com. And you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter, twitter.com slash Andelman, or on Facebook, just search Mr. Media. Thanks so much for joining us today. Always appreciate when you give up a little piece of your day and come spend it with us. Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs>